This morning, it's like five o'clock in the morning. I'm asleep in the bed. I wake up. I hear my son yelling, sit on my face, sit on my face. Now, he's six. So I know where your mind went and that's where my mind went. I don't know why, but I jump out of bed and I go running into the other room to figure out what the fuck is going on. And I find my son laying on the floor face up scooting around the floor trying to get the dog to sit on his face no idea why he wanted the dog to sit on his face but welcome to being a dad so it is like 10 o'clock in the morning and i'm still fasting and well please oh i normally make pot of coffee that's got 10 cups in it and my wife and i share that but when she's out of town just out of habit, I still make 10, 10 cups of coffee. And my thing is, I just kind of drink coffee until it's gone because she's, she takes hers with her when she goes to work. <laughs> so I'm noticing just right now that I'm getting a little jittery. And it's probably because I've had like eight cups of coffee <laughs> on an empty stomach. So, uh, woo! Let's uh, fire up some lasers. Shop is a bumping. We got the F1 running. We've got the x D1 Pro 20 watt running. Well, let's go check out what we're doing over here. So I'm developing some cut patterns and engraved patterns to give you guys so you won't have to do them yourself. And I'm using that puzzle piece shape because I found that lasers do angles like X and Y pretty well, but when they have to do a round part also, uh, sometimes that's where you get your, your catches and whatnot. So I figure if it's a puzzle piece, you've got squared off corners and you've got circles, you get all of the, you get all that in one for the for the cuts, I guess, not the engraves. I'm not sure what we're gonna do for the engraves yet. Ozzy would say we should probably do his butt. Also running some Enduramark charcoal on a glass glass in an F1. I'm not sure if the, if the 10 watt is powerful enough to uh, to transfer the, the marking agent. So we managed to get a pretty decent result on glass with a Enduramark charcoal glass marker, marker, glass and ceramic, but it marks on glass and it gets you that gray color. This one was, uh, I, I think it had too much product up here and so it flaked off but it looks pretty good and it ran in like two minutes. So basically, if you watched the vlog today, you got firsthand knowledge that you can engrave on the old F2, <laughs> it's not the F2, P2 F1. Uh, you can engrave on the old F1 on glass with a marking agent uh, without a rotary. If your design is small enough, it will do it with the Galvo. So, uh, so yeah. So until tomorrow, 